Hi, this is Peter. Uh, just doing a video uh, regarding the blog post on WP Tavern about WP Optimize, accused of cheating page speed and other performing testing tools. So this is an independent uh, view on, on the situation. Uh, just to tell you who I am, I'm Peter Wilkinson from Divi Engine. Uh, we build plugins for Divi, so we're in the WordPress community. And actually, we have a plugin called Divi Nitro, which is a actually a competitor of WP Optimize, if, if you could say. So this is a complete impartial review. Um, I'm not affiliated to WP Optimize. In fact, I'm actually a competitor. So that's just the background about uh, who I am, you know, to give some credibility, I guess, to what, what, what I'm talking about. So I saw this post and uh, it's, it's interesting because uh, I believe that WP Optimize and Updraft are, um, are, are great companies and act, are actually what well, is a great company and actually are very truthful people. So, um, so I was quite shocked when I saw this. So um, take a look at uh, in, in this in more depth. I believe it's actually the other way around. I believe that this person... Um, is actually de deceiving other everybody else, um, and if we actually look, uh, seems to be affiliated with Flying Proxy, and there's a lot of advertising on Flying Press and Flying Proxy. So I can see how the deception can be used to steer people away from WP Optimize and to the other plugins. So let's take a little closer look at what what he's saying. He's saying that um, that. Uh, Optimize cheats page speed, page speed and other testing tools. When site is loaded, the JavaScript files are loaded only when the user uh, agent browser is not Lighthouse, GT Metrics, Chrome, uh, Pingdom. So basically, he's saying that when you use WP Optimize, uh, the JS files won't be loaded on the website when uh, the uh, GT Metrics, Pingdom, etc. is testing. Okay, so that's his claim. So let's go ahead and. Uh, uh, optimize. Let's go ahead and install. So if we look at the screenshot over here, we can see uh, we can see it's got uh, nav navigator dot user agent. That's kind of the what's looking for the um, for the GT metrics and ping them. So here we go. So I'm just going to activate. Type optimize, uh, reload my test website, and um, reload the source of the page. Navigator.user agent. Okay, so this, there's only one I can find, and this has got to do with Divi. It's got nothing to do with uh, WP um, optimize. Okay, so so far, so good. The claims are incorrect so far. However, if we enable enable minifar, we can see we have it uh, um, mini minifying the JavaScript files, okay? So let's save the settings. Let's reload the page. Um, let's reload the source file. Navigator.userAgent. Again, there's only the one, which is from Divi. Uh, we can see actually that the uh, WP opt Optimize is minifying everything as well. So there's all my header JS files being uh, minified. So with me minifying my JS files, it is not doing as the person says. So where does where does this come from? Upon further investigation. There's a section of here that says defer JavaScript, defer selected JavaScript files. Any JavaScript files that match the paths below will, will be loaded asynchronously. Use this if you have a completely independent script or want to exclude scripts from page speed tests, page speed inside GT metrics. So if I want to exclude from the page speed test, I can manually go in, add my JS path, then reload my page. And then I can see it here. If the user agent matches those, then load async that file that I've specified. So you can see how 
this 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 code which uh which is supposedly deceit is has to be manually added into that box so for probably 100% of the users who who don't use the, well 100% of the users um it 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 wouldn't it wouldn't be as as this post says but for the few that actually manually go in and add this see i've added this in now if i remove that and i reload the page again you'll see this this will disappear there we go it's gone if i add it back in it appears there it is so it's only if you manually add this in so from my from my opinion looking outside and i'd love to hear from uh G G G G Joe, I, I don't know how to pronounce the name sorry i'd love to hear from from them uh their view because from my opinion this this is what i feel like it's gone down and the reason why i'm making this is because i hate injustice uh I, I love the truth and I hate injustice. And it feels like what what's happened is the other person has seen there's an opportunity to put false advertising, false information about another company for for their own gain. So what they've done is they've gone in, they've manually added the script as, as I've done. So they've manually manually added the script here. Then seen how it has this based on you can see right above the box it says uh, would like to exclude scripts from page speed tests so they're telling you that if you add the scripts in here it's going to exclude it from page speed tests where's the deception in that there's no there's zero deception and actually that that's truth there's no deception there but the but the other person is now being deceitful themselves by hiding the truth by skewing the truth in making everybody feel like they'd be optimized or cheating but actually they're not so that's my views that's my view and my uh, so again I, I, I hate uh, injustice so that's why I'm making this video um, and I really do hope that WP Tavern um, you know writes a, a, a good review on this and clears it up and uh, I really hope that uh, you know that flying pages flying proxy change the way that they that the way they do business and the way that they they advertise themselves because you know that's not the way to do it but by by being deceitful and trying to bring down other companies that are doing a good job so that's it i hope this has been helpful for everybody and i would continue to use WP optimize if i was you